perfectly compatible and being not at all a contradiction between one and another. The similarity of man and animal in anatomy and physiology is because of the same living condition. So you say man adapted to this system or man was created on this system. Yes, of course. Ma man was created according to the necessities for the man to be in a position to survive on, the, on this earth. Genetically, man and the great apes share a great volume of similarities. There are also recent findings such as Lucy and other connecting links which link clearly man with his ancestral apes. Does Quran say that man was not evolved from the ancestral apes? Well, I have explained I, uh, exactly uh, the, this possibility of evolution as it appears in the Quran. I, for the third time, I shall repeat and I might repeat other quotations of the Quran I made in, in, in Arabic. Uh, 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 like ma man was fashioned harmoniously, the word uh, sawa and many quotations of the Quran I gave you to explain you that it was the transformation of the human species. What are the similarities and differences of the Bible, science and Quran? I don't know. You have to read a book. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> too much differences. I cannot uh, give an answer. <laughs> In Quran, many times it is mentioned that Allah has not created anything purposeless. How do you account for the presence of vestigial organs in the human being which are quite functional less according to the modern science? Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's very difficult to say that uh, in a, an organ might be absolutely uh, um, uh, vestigial, like, like you, you have written, because they have they, they are in, in a, it's well known in physiology that necessarily in the course of the embryology uh, concerning human beings and the animals, they are organs which at a certain time are useful and later on are not useful later on in the course of the life of you, of animals as well as of uh, human living beings. Uh, considering, for example, the lymphatic system we have, considering some glands, uh, um, glands like the thymus, you can know thymus, thymus, thymus uh, which is a vestigial organ in adult and has the most importance for the, um, for the growth. Of, uh, of, of an infant. Alors, for that, uh, it's difficult to imagine that uh, several things were created, were concept by God by uh, without any use. I think that that can, you cannot find the demonstration of that, and uh, it is necessary to to know in detail the comparative anatomy to our uh, uh, full of admiration for the wonderful organizational plan according to which we have been uh, uh, fashioned, as the Quran said. What about the president? It's not out. Not the subject matter. We have too many questions. Yes, and also, this is regarding the book, coming book. When is Dr. Bukai's new books going to be published and approximately when will it be available in America in English? 
I, I am in a position to tell you that the book to come in French, uh, Medicine and Mothers of the Pharaohs, I translate. The publisher promised me to publish it in next October, and I hope that uh, since the English text is finished, I hope, inshallah, to have an American publisher. But until now, I cannot tell you the least thing about this project. Are Adam's and Eve's literal or symbolic representation in the Holy Quran's scheme of creation? It is not symbolic because there was the first man and uh, the first uh, female, the first male and the first female. The male was called Adam, the female was called Eve. It is, uh, of course, symbolic names, of course. But uh, the creation must, must have a beginning. I cannot tell you uh, uh, because it is it is the habit uh, the, for in the other scriptures uh, the, to to give uh, a name. Then you have the name of Adam in the Quran. You have the name of Eve in the Bible. But as far as I know, you have not the name of Eve in the Quran. The, the name of the the wife of Adam. You see that is, there is nothing to, to, to conclude uh, from this difference. Oh. Unless you want to take some, some more questions. Anybody co concerning the subject matter? Uh, it's not directly concerned. Uh, but, but if it is not directly concerned, excuse me, because yeah. I want at first to answer a question which are directly in, in connection with the, the topic of this lecture. If you have, uh, with pleasure. <laughs> no, it's not concerning to me. No, 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 it's not. It looks like we are getting out of question. There are some questions which are really out of order, you know. No, this is why I'm not no, really finished. Finished, but just before the two minutes, very early. Uh, I must leave a give a chance. No, 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 no. I'll give you one more chance before we close. Anybody has any question? Write down your question, please. Write down and send to us. The last one, the last one is finished. I must leave the, very early tomorrow morning, but I must leave to, no, no, I must leave very early tomorrow morning. I have an extra to give in Toronto tomorrow. No. As well as on behalf of the Institute of Islamic Information and Education, it is my privilege and honor to welcome you, Dr. Lawrence Bukhel, to Muslim Community Center of Chicago. Uh, I also like to thank all the participants tonight. I hope that this lecture has given you some thoughts, some ideas about the creations of human being on this earth. And I also like you to encourage you to read his books. They are very informative, especially this um, origin of man as well as this Bible, science and Quran. Uh, with this short notes, we will adjourn. The Salatul Isha will follow immediately. Uh, therefore, please join me in dua. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل لنا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا لا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وافوننا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم